Where? <laughs> Please, Lord! Give me that! I cheated. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, I put it a little bit during all that beatboxing. Too much pressure on my stomach. What? Good y'all, welcome back, A, hey, to some more Corpse Party. Chapter 4. Let's not even waste no time. Oh my gosh, how am I gonna stop these texts from showing? Look at the name of the group chat. I did not name in that. RDC, RD, <laughs> RD, RD, I don't know what it said. All right. Somebody had the nerve to tweet me talking about my voice for Seiko is trash and like annoying to them. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Oh, come on now, with you. I'll wash your back. I don't care if I sound like an Indian truck driver. Get off me. I I I I can wash it myself, you know. They both gotta sound the same if they sisters. Was that a little? Is that kid booty, bruh? Look at that little funky kid booty. What are you hiding under the, under your hands there, little man? There are no secrets in this bathroom. C come on, man, don't. <laughs> she just slapped his ass? <laughs> I'll take it this, and this, and this. Oh, what are you doing? What the f C Come here, you little cutie pie. Uh, stop! Stop it, sis! That that tickles! Sis, look at his leg going up us. Gotcha! Whoa! He hard now. Jeez, why do you have to be like that? <laughs> is she naked now, too? What is this game, bruh? Age restriction. No money. Donate. Members, membership. Join. Alright. You know, sis. <sighs> hmm? <sighs> Sometimes... You, you really are like a mom. You really think so? <laughs> oh, you. You're such a sweetie. I, I didn't mean it like that. Me and my sister would never do no kind of shit like this. This is that anime shit. You know it's that anime shit. You've really grown up, you. Always thinking about your big sis' feelings. But you're still young, you know? Too young to act like such a grown-up. You should stop worrying about me and just keep on being a kid. Oh. Oh, you, are you crying? See, you really are still a kid. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is this? Want some of mama's milk? That's not even possible. Don't be a perv. You, you're such a good kid. Don't ever change, okay? I hope you stay like this forever. Sis is really late getting home today. She said dad has had a surprise for us too. Says she helped me get ready for it. His voice is so deep and he's a little brother. That's hilarious. I wonder how much longer she'll be. He's like a Stewie Griffin. Ah! Man! Are, are we having a typhoon or something? Such weird weather. You know you drink beer. Mayu? Mayu? What is it, Mom? I'm running late. This is your last day at Kisaragi. Make sure you say your goodbyes and have a lot of fun with your friends, okay? I will. Aww. I'm 
so sorry about this. All because your father got transferred. It's okay. I'll be fine. I wish your father would have objected more strongly. But he said there was nothing he could do about it. And since you didn't object either... I swear, that man doesn't give this family any consideration. All he thinks about is work. Uh-huh. Well, I've gotta run. Bye. Maya's not trying to deal with that shit. I just want my mom and dad to get along. We all been there. Not all of us, but I've been there. <laughs> huh? Where am I? Oh no, we're playing Maya and we know what happened to her. Why am I by myself? And uh, why am I crying? She, bro, you there? Miss Yui? Shinazaki! I was just in the classroom with everybody, taking down the festival decorations. God, where even is this? Where? What? No, no, please, no, 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 no. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it, Mayu. Don't succumb to panic. Take a deep breath and try to think of a charm or something to get you through this. <laughs> That's it. Shinazaki's charm, the one we all did, so we'd be friends forever. Wait, it's gone? It's gone, I can't find it anywhere. My Sashiko ever after paper scrap, gone. I was so sad to think that my time with everyone was over, but I, I had it in my hand, I know I did. This sucks, what happened after that? That was your stomach? Damn, what do you eat? Humans, that's why they chose her first. My stomach is in bad shape too. Why does stress always give me indigestion? So it's them two and the kid that looks at you and kills you. <laughs> what were they? They went into that room. No. M maybe I should have a look. You got me. Ugh. Ow. My head. Where am I? Oh. I'm in the main building. Wait from a bad dream and find myself in another. Damn it! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where am I? What floor is that? I don't want to read any of these ID name tags. They all said the same gruesome things. This be brand new. It kind of slapped though. Nope. <laughs> what did she say? Kachin? Wrong anime. I'm out of here. Wow. So they gave me a flashback of Maya who would be in here. But we already did our thing in here. Oh, save though. Nice. Um, maybe the journal says something? There's a blood spattered notebook on the desk with the word diary written in bold letters at the top. Like some sort of prop, however, it's practically molded into the desk. What about the 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 flyer? Nope, nothing. This one? Monthly goal. Let's all wash our hands and remember our mommies and daddies. Remember them and cry because we can't go home anymore. Anything on the bed? No. All right, we're out. Whoa. Oh my gosh, the voice acting. Yuka! Sorry about that, y'all. Let's keep going. Everybody hit my line. 
The smell of exposed organs permeates the entire hallway. Mochita, this way. Please, take care of Naomi. She's on the verge of snapping. Who's there? Who, who's speaking to me? I can swear that sounded like Seiko, huh? I'm trying to find my sister. Oh shit. Naomi! Hey, are you alright? Naomi? Isn't that Naomi's cell phone? If it's bro calling my line again. Nam yo ho renge kyo. I'm already knowing what he's gonna say. Wrong number, bro. I probably shouldn't have answered this phone call. Hello? Hello? No, I'm not helping you. Ah! What the hell? I can smell his breath through the audio. This place needs to cut the crap already. I can't just leave it though. Acquire Casa Que La Defe. Well, it was tough, you know. <laughs> I don't know whose voices these are. I know I'm about to run right into a bad ending. I'm gonna just get it over with. I certainly was surprised. <laughs> so, Seiko, did you hear? Hmm. What is it? What is it? Kishinuma bumped into Satoshi turning around earlier and totally touched his crotch. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> I like it. I like it. What's going on? When I saw it happen, though, I just wanted to smack Kishinuma upside the head. <laughs> oh, dear Naomi. Do I detect a hint of jealousy? Maybe. Maybe not. All I know is right afterwards, the two of them got into a huge fight. It's priceless. I wish I could have seen it. I don't think you'd be so keen on it if you were there. It, it wasn't a pretty sight. I don't know. I have a feeling I would have enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> Boys are such idiots. Cute, though. <laughs> Mochita in, in particular, right, Naomi? I I is someone there? I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, I, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No, you don't. You don't see the blood splatter? That looked like, I don't know, Clifford footprint, bitch ass. You sense a present. Whenever they start talking in third person, or first, I don't know. You sense a presence behind the stall door. Then why do you give me the option then? <laughs> Naomi? Dumbass! What the <laughs> What the hell do you think you're doing? What, what, what do I do? What do I do? 
find something for uh 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 find something for her to stand on. Did I have anything out there? There's no buckets. There's nothing I can use. I should have helped her. It's it's goner time. It's goner time. It's goner time. It's goner time. It's is it is it a rap? It... Naomi. Whoa! Trigger warnings. Trigger PG. Put a trigger warning before this, please. I'm. I'll sit. No. I didn't make it. No. No. It can't be. A good friend who'd been smiling and laughing with me in the classroom only a few hours later, earlier, was now dead, dangling limply from the ceiling in a dismal, dingy bathroom stall. The mere fact that this had actually occurred was more frightening to me than any ghost. Just give me the... Pretty! Okay. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself running as if my life depended on it. I think I just wanted to get out of there, to get away from her body. I really think I just wanted to pretend like it never happened. It's all a dream. It can't be real. But my compromised mental state couldn't hold me back for long. I knew I had to face her again. Is this supposed to happen? Satoshi, you about to get clapped when you walk in here. Oh my gosh. Naomi. Naomi. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. It's it's my fault. What do I do now? <laughs> How about you take a look over here? <gasps> Shinohara? Not you too. Damn it. Why? Why would you do this? Why do we have to die here? Give them back, you piece of shit skull! God damn it all! Uh, I feel like Will Smith right there. Ugh, okay. Big brother! <laughs> Yuka! Damn it, I completely forgot. I left her all by herself! She went outside to pee in the woods by the outdoor walkway. Wait for me, Yuka, I'm coming! I've had enough I, I've had enough loss for one day if I were to lose you too. I'm, I'm on it. Wow, that was actual gameplay? That was part of the story? I don't like that one bit. But I'm on it though. Big brother time. Big brother time. I'm on it though. Big brother time. This beat is kind of fire. Okay, save real quick though. I'm gonna use the second slot just in case I, I did something wrong. I didn't save the first time? Oh my gosh. Well, sorry Naomi, I tried. Why didn't I think to like, notice that? The walkway was just here at the bottom of the stairs to the right. It's not here why why is there a wall here there was a whole other building what the hell is going on Yuka Yuka uh, why must you torment me like this and so I sat there Lamenting the many losses I'd suffered during my short time in this otherworldly school without even the will to stand. I just kept on sitting, stewing in my misery. I couldn't even say how much time had passed. But the silence was broken by a sudden rumbling. The entire building began to shake violently. Damn it, another earthquake? You gotta be kidding me! Oh, 
won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please, wait for me. I'm gonna find a way back into the other building if it kills me. Okay. What's the, what's the move though? You ain't telling me no plots, it's just... F*** it. We got to, we gotta try. I'm not going in there. Whoa. It's a horribly decayed corpse with an, an absolutely rancid odor. I'll kill you. I'll curse you. It hurts so... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We heard that already. What is this, though? Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Yes? Seiko cell phone. This is Shinohara's, isn't it? Seiko seemed to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window was still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Shinohara. What did it say? I'm sorry, Shinohara. I really didn't mean to. Maybe Shinohara was talking about, uh, Satoshi and Naomi's relationship. And of course we don't know. That is a television, isn't it? I did find that video cassette in the other building. Ooh! Satoshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. Kabiki Research Data, 11-19-2005. It might hold some important information. If only we had some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. All right. Okay, I guess we gotta just see real quick. Yep. Whoa, no! see real quick how am I gonna do this by myself though oh my gosh I hate this room with that light jumping back and forth like that I'll never be able to get the object by myself someone else will have to lend me a hand y'all see the camera work hold up the developer thought he was filthy with that move it was all right I thought that was a dog what the f it's the body of a high schooler whoever it is seems to just have only died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. There's a yellow sheet of notebook paper on the floor next to the body. The shakiness of the lettering and the contents of the memorandum suggest that his writer was on the verge of death well before pen touched paper. I need water so badly. I'm hungry, sure, but I can deal with the hunger. It's the thirst that I can't stand. The other guy I was with, Satoshi Matsubara, that's not my last name, he tried drinking the filthy tap water from the sink in the bathroom. But he threw it all up almost immediately. And it burned his chest and throat so badly that he wound up dying. I've tried to think outside the box, even going as so far as to drink my own spit. But needless to say, it didn't ha help matters one bit. My tongue's so swollen at this point that I can't even talk. Ironically, it's been pouring outside since we got here. If only I could have found a way to gather some of that rainwater, Satoshi might still be alive. It's almost as if someone's playing a cruel joke on me. Showing me more water than I've ever seen before, but putting it just outside my reach. Somebody wrote that there's a whole other wing in this school, access to an outdoor walkway, but I never found it. As a last resort, I'm gonna try drinking my own blood. You should have said piss first. My name is Hirimasa Kojima, and I'm an 11th grader in class 2-4 at Amazaki West High. If anyone reading this ever makes it out alive, Please, tell my family, tell my father what happened to me. I don't want to be a missing person for the rest of his life. I hate the idea of him always wondering where I went, or if I'm even still alive. It seems to continue, but the rest of it's completely drenched in blood, rendering it totally illegible. Uh, get away from me. Sorry, y'all. Okay, so the music don't stop when we get to principal's office no more. No words? No words? No words? I'm out then. She over here drinking blood? No sir, I'm out. Um, I did hear a voice. I just need I just need some kind of update when I get back up here, please. I'm finna save, you already know the deal. 
Oh my god, oh my god! I gotta walk to in front of her? Ah, no! It, it's okay. Calm down, I'm a friend. Uh, are, are you alright? Please, help me. Help me, please. Her front tooth is missing, and it doesn't look like an accident. Somebody beating up on you in here? My, uh, my name is Mochita. I'm an 11th grade student at, at a school called Kis Kisaragi Academy, and, and you are? Uh, my, my name is, is Toko Kurosaki. I, I'm an 11th grader at, at Buyakudan High. Buy Buyakudan? On Togami. Okay, and may I ask? How you got here? There was, there was this charm from the internet, and, and and we tried it, and all of us were were brought here. A charm, S same as us then. <laughs> they all s s said we tried to get out of here together, but then w one of them, y Yuya, went out of his mind, and he he. Uh, <laughs> He pushed one of my friends down the stairs. He, he killed them. Then, with a smile on his face, he started playing with the body. I ran as quickly as I could. Bro, I was just... Man, say what's up to my recording, bro. What Say what... Bro, I was just killing this voice acting and you called me in the middle of it. Uh, you're, you're doing a great job. Bro, one of my best performances yet. You can do it again. Go! Get away from me! Uh, okay. I'll just... I'll go. Just please, try to stay calm. Get away! I told you walk away like this, dummy. <laughs> You gonna regret kicking me out of here, girl. Okay, so bro that met Yuka is still in here going crazy. I wish he would do something to my little sister. I'll beat this nigga ass. He, he don't even have hands. He just, he cheap shot at him and pushed him down the staircase. That shit is whack. What is that? Hello? I don't want to see that twice. Okay, I'm going to try and talk to her one more time and see if she'll relax enough to help me out. Hey, have you... Have you come to kill me too? No. Yes, what? No, of course not. Get a hold of yourself. We just talked, remember? I, I, I ain't done my homework yet. So you think I'm just gonna sit back and let you kill me? Is that a knife in her hand? <gasps> She's got a pair of scissors. What the? F oh, why didn't you move? Oh, I I I'm so sorry. My God, I I've been stabbed. No! Ah! But I I'm okay. How is that possible? When Satoshi found Seiko's cell phone, he went to put it in his pants pocket, but Naomi's was already there, and there wasn't enough room for both. So he put it in his breast pocket instead. Ooh! That wouldn't have happened had I not went upstairs instead of downstairs trying to find Yuka voice. I had to go upstairs to get the phone, see Naomi, Des, see Seiko. Then I went to the phone, then I went to the infirmary. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing. And that just so happened to be the exact spot where Toko's scissors struck him. Seiko's cell phone had absorbed the brunt of the impact. Shinohara, you, wow, you saved him. Wow. Uh, are, are, are you okay? What the hell is wrong with you? 
Where did you get these scissors anyway? Satoshi threw the pair of scissors into the corner of the room. You better put those back in your other uh, butt pocket, boy. Uh, uh, uh. It's no use. She's too far gone for conversation. You better help. I don't want to die. Please don't kill me. <sighs> Where did he throw the scissors? I wish Miss Yui were here. Try and talk to her one more time. Okay. Save again. <laughs> Miss Shishidu! Mochita? Are, are you alright? Oh, wow. Miss Yui! I can't believe it! I was just thinking about you! And, and I, you, Mochita. You were in trouble just now, weren't you? I feel so bad for Nakashimi and Shinohara. But I'm just so grateful to see that at the very least, you're still safe and sound. Miss Yui. You've done very well. Now come. We'll look for Yuka and the others. Together. Miss Yui. I'm so... So tired. Aww. All right, I, I can use this door like a bridge. Okay, Miss Yui. I, I don't know how, but I, I made it out in one piece. Uh, I sure hope nobody was down there. Oh, this is her flashback when she broke out. Okay. Ow! Uh, this really hurts. Right arm is broken. Completely dislocated. Feels like it's clinging together by muscle and, and sinew alone. God, it hurts so much. Have to uh, hold it together. With my hand. I don't like seeing Miss Yui in pain like this. This ain't cool, bro. I'm like, oh, oh. Shinozaki, Kishinuma, please be okay. I'm coming to find you. She's talking like uh, Malcolm in the Middle, black friend with the inhaler. <laughs> People used to say I looked like him growing up. I used to hate hearing that. You say your students aren't listening to you. I just don't know what to do. I feel like I've lost the will to teach. Hmm. I receive emails from their parents and guardians every single day. They say I'm a teacher who gets no results, that I'm useless. Going over my head, straight to you? That's terrible. I'm the homeroom teacher here. I should be the ones answering to them. I'm glad I did not look that up. <sighs> this is my fault for always going away on business trips and leaving you to fend, for, fend off the wolves on your own. They must have given you hell. I'm so sorry. No, I'm the assistant homeroom teacher. It, it's my duty to tend to the class in your absence. In fact, it's been my honor to have you entrust me with your students. It's just that lately, no matter what I say, every last student in class 2-9 makes a joke out of it. And if I react too strongly, they all start to talk back. They must hate me by now. But I don't blame the parents. The bottom line is what's important. It, it's all about results. And what I want most of all is for these kids to get good grades for their own futures, if nothing else. And if they get good grades, then maybe their parents will leave me alone. Shishiru? Yes? Miss Shishiru. I want you to- oh, okay, Mochita. I'm sitting there thinking Satoshi and Yuka's mom is Mishishidu, but that's Satoshi and Yuka Mo Mochito. 
I'm learning. I want you to close your eyes and think back. Huh? Think back to what? <laughs> to your students, of course. Every day, you give 110% for them. And you know as well as I do that some of them truly appreciate it. Any guesses which ones? Hold on, let me make sure my face is recording. It would be hot if it's not. Okay, cool. You really think any of them care? Absolutely. How about Shinazaki, who usually hates her teachers? She's in the staff room asking you questions every day. And Kishinuma, who almost never came to school at all last year, has been here at least four times each week since you started. Never thought I'd see the day. The students have taken notice, and they appreciate you. Believe me, they don't hate you one bit. But even if that's true, I still don't get results. I mean, they may like me, but if they don't get the grades to go back up, their parents never will. And more importantly, if my students can't get good grades, then I failed them as a teacher. It's true that things may look different from the parents' point of view than they do from the schools. And the student's ability to excel is indeed of the utmost importance. But the way I see it, the means through which you teach those students is just as the means through which you teach those students is just as important as the material they learn. In fact, it may be even more important. Okay, I respect that too. It's not about what you learn, it's about how you learn it. I'm trying to think of a situation where that, that was true for me. Maybe back in like elementary school, I believe I had this one teacher who put everything into song. And I'm pretty sure I did use that same technique in college. Mitosis, yeah. fibrosis, mitosis, halitosis. I don't know, something like that though. But I might have just put y'all onto it to a, to a, a study uh, a study mechanism. So you're welcome. I'm like, we only get these children for three short years. Oh, for three short years. During that time, one must wonder: Did they enjoy their classes? Will they remember them as valuable, meaningful experiences? After all, their worries, resolutions, life lessons, and moments of personal growth. Will they look back at those three years during graduation and say, I really enjoyed this school? Ensuring that they do is just as much a part of the teacher's job as the material she teaches. And it's not just Shinazaki and Kishinuma. Think about Shinohara, whose home life had really been getting her down, Mayu, or Maya, and Nakashima. After they met you, their smiles seemed to get a lot brighter. Shinuhara? <laughs> She's got a real knack for hiding her true feelings, doesn't she? I think that might be Naomi he's talking about. What can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher, through and through. In fact, I'd even say you've reached that point. You've proven that education is in your nature. Basically, that you were born to teach. And no one can take that honor away from you. So how about you reclaim what's rightfully yours, hmm? <laughs> it's remarkable how little you've changed from when you were a student here yourself. Whenever you had something on your mind, You'd always seek my guidance with eyes wide and full of tears. <laughs> you shouldn't strain yourself so much as you do. Enjoy what you do. You get to spend every precious day with a whole host of interesting youths. Wait till you get to your first graduation and have somebody tell you, thanks for everything, teach. It's the best feeling in the world. Damn, this made me miss being a... Well, I mean, I was on a path to being a teacher, but, like, this is exactly why I wanted to teach. This is exactly why, like, I be trying to teach in my videos still. Just like that feeling of knowing I touched somebody's life. I'll get in contact with the parents and guardians and try to set them straight. And tomorrow... And tomorrow, or whenever you'd like, we can go over some lessons plans together. 
to help ensure we get these students to their graduation safe and sound. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, they trying me. They trying me. Thanks for everything. Teach. You bet. You know, that's another great feeling. Being able to pass the torch and rely on one of your old students to keep your affairs in order. <laughs> then it's right back to this hellhole. Huh? A, a dream? I feel like I've been dreaming for a long time. A terrible, ominous dream where Nakashima and the others all lost their lives. I wonder where I am. No! Miss Yui! Miss Shishino! Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? Go! No! Now I remember. I got buried in rubble after that. What? Shinazaki, I hope you were able to get out safely. What can I do for my students? As soon as you start asking yourself that question without even thinking about it, then you're a bona fide teacher, through and through. I guess I did finally become a little more like the teacher I wanted to be. But it hasn't even been a year. I can't move my body. Can't even feel my lower half. Everything below my neck paralyzed. It's so dark. So lonely. I wanted to live just a little longer. Oh, she crying, bro. She crying. Am I crying? <laughs> I'm almost dead. And here I am. Crying. <laughs> I don't like most of my teachers very much. But I love Miss Shishidu. She feels almost like a big sister to me. Hey, Miss Yui. Is it true you have a cat? I was thinking of adopting this little guy, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Here, have a look. Eee, he's adorable. Look at his fat. I wasn't asking you. Damn. Yo, Miss Yui, about that uh, floopy droopy panda necklace you got? Are you wearing it right now? It's hard to tell with those. <laughs> Good move, Miss Yui. Pervert little Yoshi bitch. That was quite a punch. Miss Yui, I... I'll... I'll write you once I get settled in, in at my new school. Not just now, but even after I grow up. I'll keep writing. I just want you to always be my teacher. Would that be okay? Miss Yui. Your bike chain came off today, no? Never seen you take a spill like that before. You looked so forlorn. It was kinda cute. I wish you all the very best. Please, don't die. Forge a path for yourselves. Don't let your future slip away. Don't she get out of this though? Why are we watching this? I'm so cold. Mom. Dad. Monet. I feel so alone. I'm scared. Chapter 4 Extra End.
Okay, here we go. I need to do something to loosen that rope around her neck. Push her against the wall. Hold on. Good move, good move, good move. Now she can breathe. <laughs> good, good. She's breathing. Naomi, stay with me. I'm going to loosen that rope. Use bucket at feet for boost. Are you going to slip and fall and bust your fucking skull? Ugh. I, I can't see what I'm doing. I is this it? While still supporting Naomi on his shoulders, with her upper body drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head, Satoshi reaches behind him and fiddled with the knots at the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the rope's grip. Against all odds, it seemed that Naomi would live. Give me that, dude. Come on now. What? This dude always hating on me when I do some cool shit. But you let Yoshi die, though, bitch. <clears throat> Sorry. Naomi. Hey, you're all right now. Breathe. <sighs> That's it. Easy now. Just like that. Breathe in and breathe out, slowly and steady. S Satoshi? Yeah, it's me. Are you alright? You really had me scared there for a minute. <laughs> what, what's, what's wrong? Are, are you in pain? Dumbass. Get here sooner next time. <laughs> What? Ah, s s sorry. What? What's wrong with me? What am I doing? Oh, come on now. There's no need. Huh? No need to apologize. No. Um. Is is your neck okay? My neck. What was I doing anyway? I fell down the stairs, and then when I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything? I guess not. After I fell, I heard a snap in my leg, and I figured I'd broken it. But it turned out I, it was just the splint that Seiko had used on my sprained ankle earlier. Wow. Shinohara? I think I heard her voice a little bit ago. Any idea where she went? Seiko. Seiko is... Huh? Oh, she remembered. That's impossible! I, I heard her voice! She spoke to me just a few minutes ago! Seiko... <laughs> Seiko... <laughs> Let's get her down. I feel bad leaving her like that. Wow. We had a fight just before we parted ways. I, 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 was, I was the one in the wrong. But I was too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Seiko was already dead. It might have even been my fault. I said some pretty mean things to her. And I can't even apologize anymore. Naomi, it's all right. It is not your fault. You do realize that you also tried to hang yourself, right? I, I did. That's not possible. But there is a stinking pain around my entire neck. Did I really? So you don't remember. I I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. I don't think she knew what she was doing. No matter how upset she was, she would never. She wasn't the type to give up on anything, much less kill herself over it. You, you're right. She wouldn't do that. 
Probably not, anyway. Actually, there was this spirit who came to talk to me. A girl about the same age as us. She said that anyone who's been touched by the curse of this school will have their mind taken over and go crazy. I, I, I go stupid. I, I, I. Their mind taken over? Curse or no curse, I do get the feeling that anyone trapped in here for long enough would go insane. Move. Move. Clearly, we need to get out of this school as soon as we possibly can. The longer we're here, the more danger we're in. If even Naomi and Shinohara, two of the strongest people I know, can wind up like this, then any one of us could be next, myself included. We'd better make sure nobody's left by themselves in here anymore. Sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others, then get out of here. Yeah, that brings up something else though. That girl spirit also said that this school was its own version of closed space. And that Seiko and I were the only living, living beings present. So how did you get here, Satoshi? You see Satoshi, <laughs> she was like pivoting. Now that you mention it, there is a different feeling in the air now than there was before. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action. It's a truly noble sentiment. Now go. Go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> Come to think of it, I was also approached by the spirit of a high school girl. Shortly afterward, I lost consciousness and woke up not far from here. I wonder who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you somehow made the leap from one closed space to another. Closed space? That first ghost we saw said that if two people were in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. Uh, huh? It, it, it's nothing, uh, Satoshi. I think I heard Yuka's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated when I lost consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this. She'll never make it. Last I saw her, she was heading out into the walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi, this way. Uh, okay. Shinohara, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us, but it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. Please, forgive me. <laughs> Seiko. We out. We out, just like that. <laughs> are, are, are you okay? <laughs> the damage to her neck and throat may have been worse than I assumed. I might have cut oxygen off to her brain or something. Sorry, I, I suddenly <clears throat> got really dizzy and, and tripped over my own feet. And now everything's turning quiet. Naomi! Looks like she's lost consciousness. I need to take her somewhere to rest. Wasn't there a nurse's office or something around here? The infirmary? Are we really back in here? Her breathing seems normal. I guess she's okay. I need to go find Yuka. Naomi, you stay here and rest up. I know it's dangerous for either of us to be by ourselves. That's the worst plan to think. That's the, that's been the, the downfall of Naomi and uh, Seiko to begin with, is splitting up, and you want to do it again. Okay. But that goes for my little sister, too. Ooh, okay. Mm, I'm sorry. I guess you got it. I was wrong. Shut me the f up. I can't just ignore her. I'll be back real soon, I swear. Okay. Um. The walkway was just at the bottom of these stairs to the right. I know. 
it really the wall's still like this? It's not here. Why? Why is there a wall here? Yo. Ooh, okay. Kurosaki said, Kizami. The sign said elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. But they sold me a hamster anyway, and it was only one it was only 540 yen. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Their lives aren't worth much at all. What? Ugh, nothing. <laughs> so what are we gonna do with it? <laughs> Look at how cute he is! You want to take care of him? Oh, hold on. I think Kizami is the cool dude that ended up killing what's his name last episode. <laughs> You're kidding, right? That smelly thing? Huh? So, so what then? Something really special. Wait till you see it. <laughs> it's like nothing else. The end of a life. The very moment of death. Come on, give it here. This box cutter should do the trick. <laughs> I always knew that like weirdo serial killers or killers in general gotta be fucked up since birth. There's there's not like a, a flip that switch. Maybe there is, you know, maybe Nah, not like not like sadistic killers though. I think something happens at the home as a little kid. Maybe parent neglect, uh trauma, uh Maybe his parents was doing something to him. I don't know. How do you just end up weird like this? Watch closely now. <laughs> Yuya, what do you think you're doing? It's, it's Kizami's sister. Nothing. Piranha Kizami. Don't you nothing me, you little asshole. You've got a knife and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say nothing. Now, am I? Stupid bitch. Are you for real? You realize that no one likes a smartass, right? You'd better cool that sass mouth or you'll grow up to be even more of a good-for-nothing dirtbag than you already are. Damn. Uh, Kazami, give give him here. I'll take care of my little guy himself, okay? Uh, I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Uh, okay, see you tomorrow. <sighs> I swear, I don't know how he can put up with you. Shut the f up already. Why'd I have to be the youngest anyway? If I had little brothers of my own, I'd love the shit out of them. I sure as hell wouldn't be like my goddamn holier than thou sister or my fucking retard of a brother. I'd listen to these little tykes and respect them. See, what did I tell you? Neglect. And if I had little sisters of my own? <laughs> Hold up, bro. Yuka! No! <laughs> yeah! What are you planning on doing with her? <laughs> what? Huh? What? The f I thought. Ain't time to play, dude. What's the matter, Yuka? They're <laughs> all full. Hmm. Whoa! W what the hell? Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Who who is who's behind them? Oh my! I want to play as Kazami. There's quite a stench. Student ID name tag on the floor outside. I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. A great many lives ended in this room. Look at his face, bro. Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Ew, dude! Poor little Yuka. Thought those bodies in there. You'll never be able to relieve yourself. <laughs> well then. <laughs> Shall we be off? My dear little sister. <laughs> Yo, Satoshi, I'm gonna need you to pull up with the blicky sticky up. I'm not playing with you. I need you to... Bro, get the si... Oh, we didn't have the scissors yet. <laughs> sure is cold. Where the hell did Miss Yui and Kishinuma go anyway? Don't leave me by myself. I'm scared, you know? Maybe I should try going back t to room A, 1A. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. That's fine. It looked different or what? <laughs> stop it! Just stop it already! Huh? Ah! What was that sound effect? You got a phone too? That was the girl who wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death. She seemed different from the others. Lonelier. But why? Um, I don't know. Treat tomorrow like a certainty. If you're alive now, trust that you'll still be alive then. If I recall, it's Tachibana's turn for day duty tomorrow. Principal Tachibana, I want to go back to class. I hate the idea that I might not be able to ever again. I swear I'll take my schoolwork more seriously from now on. Oh, if only. If only we could all go back in time and redo the things that we wish we did. Take your schooling serious, so you don't have to, like, f***ing think about it afterwards. I never think about school. I'm done. Whether you're facing a flyer on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room, if you've got a hunch there's something nearby, tap screen. Never give up. Okay. Gosh. Nothing. All right, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I hate staying in one place for too long, bro. I'm out. Whoa. It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only just died mere hours ago. Minutes or even moments ago. If I would have read the... The ID tag in the, in the first place, I would have been able to tell if, you know, if that was the same person from Satoshi's fucked up playthrough just now. Okay. There's a crumpled up note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones who we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. The murderer is our true enemy. All right, then let's let's get them together, children. Did that change? No. I'm so glad we could find each other before we died. We'll set off on this journey together, holding hands forevermore. There's nothing to be scared of as long as we have each other. We know there was meaning in our lives, because we were fortunate enough to find our soulmates, to find one another amongst all the fish in the sea. To our mothers and our fathers, take heart. We died happy and wanted for nothing. And when we finally pass over to the other side, our hunger pains will be gone. We'll fly up to heaven and be joyous forevermore.
Our only regret is the pain our deaths will cause you. But one day we'll meet again, up in the golden realm of the ever after. At least they was believers. Can't even be mad at it. Idiots. There's no getting into... There does seem to be space for it to go down one more notch, but the mechanism is locked. There's a tiny, peculiarly shaped keyhole in its base. I guarantee that's that's from Satoshi's room. So maybe if we keep going deeper into the school, we'll switch back over. Ah! Ow! Ayumi's hands landed squarely in the middle of a sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and thumb on her right hand was cut wide open. Ow! Ow, ow, ow! It, it, it's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I'm anemic yesterday, too. Great timing, huh? Starting to get dizzy now. Not good. I need to sit down or something. Oh. You don't sit down on this bucket real quick? Take a rest? You don't want to sit on it? Does rest mean go to the infirmary? Let's go back in here and check. Because it does get quiet. You, you can't front. Something is in here. Maybe I got to read this? Okay. See your kidnapping ends. In, yeah, we already noticed though, right? Yeah, read it. It won't let me read it. What is this? The shelf is crammed full of very old, thoroughly old books with unusual titles. One book is sticking out farther than the others. Okay, as it begged to be per perused. Circumnavigating the ancient world. I don't want to read this. The cardinal directions are to be laid flat upon the clock face, with additional divisions placed among them to mimic fully times 12 notches. Beginning with the rat affixed due at due north, the 12 signs of the Chinese zodiac shall be labeled clockwise around this timepiece compass. Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, ram, monkey, rooster, dog, pig, and then back to red. If you think I'm going to sit here and remember this, for ease of remembrance, it's best to equate each direction with both its zodiac and its hour on the clock. North then is both the rat and 12 o'clock. East is the rabbit and east by southeast is the dragon. This is the basis of circumnavigation within the ancient world. What? Huh? I'm sure I left it outside in the hallway. Did, did someone move it? What did she just ask for? I didn't even see it. There's a torn piece of newspaper on the ground. It looks like the top of half of an article. The light and dark sides of Heavenly House Elementary Principal, Takamine Yanagihori. Ground was broken for Tenheen's Municipal Heavenly House Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town as no elementary school had stood within Tenheen's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been Previously been commuting to neighboring towns. I can't read right now. So for them in particular, I gotta slow down. That's what it is. Heavenly host was truly a godsend. Is it recording? Okay, nice. The coveted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamine Yanagihori. Yanagihori quickly became popular amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic personality his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessi necessi necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders and even general building expansion. Essentially, due to Yanagahori's unwavering dedication, Heavenly Host became a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tenhin. But all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day, with an incident that would set the stage for Heavenly Host's rapid fall from grace. Are we going to find out what that is? Of course. Each individual organ seems to be blood-stained and swollen 
as if it could burst forth with a spray of gore at any moment. Ew. What about the diary? Okay. And what about this paper? How to remove a tongue part two. What the f***? Cut the tongue with a pair of big scissors. It's so thick and... Who wrote this? Bro, it's so thick and warm. But how will you know whose tongue it is later when you have a bunch more? Simple. Label it with a name tag. The tongue is very tender and squishy, so stick it... Stick the safety pin in deep to keep the label... What the fuck? There's a spirit here. Is that what that is? Oh shit, nope, I was wrong. Back away slowly. I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Ain't no back away slowly, I'm gone. I can't go this way. I can't bring, oh, <laughs> I can't bring myself to see Susamoto like that again. I feel like I'll lose my mind. I'm, I'm gone, I'm gone. I'm going upstairs then. You do not have to tell me twice. Oh no, this is back on the first floor. There we go. The antique doll you threw down earlier is still laying here. Pick it up. Acquired antique doll. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I guess that was her. Okay, so there's gonna be like moments like that where the voice acting should have came in, but you know, sorry. Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled, like one of those toy Mika doll telephones, but it's definitely close. <gasps> it's that damn doll! It's making noises again! <laughs> Okay, so it wouldn't be going that way. Bro, where do I go? I'm, I've been everywhere now. Oh, shit. <gasps> no! Sunoki! She's, she's not cool, bro. I don't mess with her. You're a liar! Liar, liar! Those child spirits didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance! Give me back Susamoto! <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. <gasps> Kishinuma! Wait, he made it out? I'm like, hold up, bro. Oh, he did make it out! He hurt, though! Ugh. You okay, Shinazaki? That's my boy, Sh Yoshi. That's what I'm talking about. You want to ask? What on earth happened to you? There's there's blood everywhere. <laughs> well, as soon as you turned around that corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. Ugh. But I'm fine. Don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. Well, a after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again. And when I woke up, I was in the first floor hallway. So, did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Yeah. I am not mistaken. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces, given shape by their boundless souls, by their bound, should not be able to remain in existence. We'll let them hear the killer's regrets, though. Oh, we let them hear the killer's regrets, though. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you. He was the murderer. Y you serious? It seems he's got a violent streak even in death. As well, he harms the living indiscriminately. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. And how are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hand should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life, 
He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Hold on a second. Who's this mentor of yours? My personal affairs are not your concern. <gasps> what's, what's happening? We gotta go. We gotta... Sorry about that. <clears throat> You'll need to find that man's body or his remains are at any rate. They should be in this school building somewhere. And if you find them and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. Uh, Miss Sonoki? <sighs> Your friend's death is your own fault. Whoa. What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Maybe not. But it's a good as place to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying. Like, weeping loudly. Seriously? Yo, let me tell you, I sure didn't miss having that thing around. Well, we, we might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? How's your head? Wow, that's quite a bump you got. Guy was a lousy aim, but he still hit my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, I'd be a goner for sure. Damn child killer. You're lucky I just happen to have some cloth clock bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that wound. Part of your prop closet, I take it. Guess I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. <laughs> okay, 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 I heard that. <laughs> One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out some sort of bag in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out? Yeah! With a bit of fidgeting, you were able to remove the item from its compartment. It's a small bag made of hemp and stainly liberally, stained liberally with blood. There's a name tag attached to the front. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 35, Ryu Yoshiwa. What's gonna be inside, I wonder? Here, you have a look. No way! I'm not touching that thing! You look! <clears throat> I have a bad feeling about this. Oh! It, it's a tongue, huh? It got a name tag on it? W what? What is it? What's in the bag? See for yourself! The bag appears to contain a severed human tongue. Yeah, I saw the, I saw the, I saw the fucking thing on the wall. The fucking post on the wall. <laughs> Return it. <laughs> Return it. <sighs> this name tag, it's a, a boy's name. It must be. The go oh shit! I love how this game connect though. That that's fire. It must be the ghost of the little boy. <laughs> Shinazaki. Yo, you about to throw up? What do we do with it? Ugh, it's so nasty. We give it back to its rightful owner. Huh? You out of your mind? That looked like, I don't know, a, a gym bag. It could be. Where? Oh, you know what? He's right here, actually. Move, YouTube. YouTube always trying to get their views, regardless. Don't, oh, here we go, here we go. I saw him walk into the infirmary the last time. The last. 
Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Y yeah? When I saw him from Maya's point of view, he was in the, they walked in here. Oh, shit. Yep. Boy, I did see him already, but cool. Even better. Yoshi Wasawa! That's right. I know your name. Show him the tongue. Yeah, give him his tongue back. He gotta speak to us. I feel bad for what happened to you, but I can't sympathize with what you're doing. Hurting strangers because of your own despair? Pulling them into horrible play- What the f I hate mobile games sometimes. Killing her friend Maya. I can never forgive you for that. Shinazaki. But this is yours. It's part of your body. So I'm going to give it back to you. Hand it over Ryu's tongue. Maya. My tongue. Thank you, miss. No, 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 no. What's happening? What? What's going on? Ah! Damn it, another earthquake? You gotta be kidding me! I won't get anywhere by wallowing in self-pity here. Yuka, I swear I'll protect you. Please, wait for me. First things first, though. I need to go check on Naomi. Girl in the red dress. Hey! Hey, hey, you! Wait! Get her! Get her! Bro, get to her! She got burners! How'd she get away from me like that? Didn't I already see bro sis here? Just in case. Okay, this might play out exactly how it did last time. That's so foul that they made me do a whole bad ending segment. And Naomi with me now, right? With the light jumping back and forth, I'll never be able to get the object by myself. Someone else will have to lend me a hand. Oh no, Naomi is in their sleep. There go, there you go with that camera work. I know he thought that shit was fresh, bro. It's cool though. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go wake Naomi up. What is that? Oh, Seiko's cell phone. That's right. Ugh. So we're gonna go back into the infirmary, and that weirdo girl should be in there. Oh shit. Oh, that's Naomi right there. Cool. Naomi. Satoshi, please don't leave me alone in here like that. I'm sorry. I, I was looking out for I was out looking for Yuka. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Did you find her? No. The corridor that leads to where she, I saw her last went back to being a wall. I can't find any way of getting to the other building anymore. Other building? There's a whole other building? Yeah. Looks like the school Yuka. Looks like the school Yuka Morishigi and I were in is different from this one. Oh, okay. We need to find some way of traveling from one space to another. That would be ideal, yeah. Wait a minute. Why are you standing out here instead of waiting inside the infirmary? I was attacked in there earlier by some kind of black shadowy mist. So I was a little scared to be in there, afraid it might attack me again. You serious? I'm really sorry about that then. Don't worry about it, but there's something in there for sure. I think we should keep our distance. No objections here. Okay, you ain't gotta tell me twice. I don't get anything from getting my cell phone stabbed and now I can show uh, Naomi the message when we get to a, a safe spot, if that's such a thing in this game. Damn, she got my save spot in there, though. I, I said save spot before, but now she got my save spot. Get it? Okay. Um. Yeah, it's in here. 
Ok? If this is the little key, that means we go back to classroom 1A, put that in the lever, and then something should open. Or give us access. Ok, whatever, I'll, I'll go right there. In front of the wood plank, nice. Bro, tell her about it. Whoa. Something up with this phone. Oh, nice, nice. She's gonna wait, cool. It's the iPhone 10, bro. So, like, my finger is kind of pressed on the bottom of the phone just to hold it up. It's messing me up. Good move, Satoshi. Nail me now. Grab it. Okay, got it. Custodian's key? No way. Nicely done in there. In fact, you seem totally unfazed. Did you figure out what we needed to do on your own or something? Actually, I had to do something similar before. With Seiko. Did you? Same here, but with Yuka. Let's let's keep moving. We'll find her. I know we will. Yeah. The custodians? Ew, 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 ew! And I got that VHS on me too. That is a television, isn't it? I did find that video. Oh my gosh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh! What the f is this room? Who, who turned out the lights? What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Uh, something really smells. And it's pitch black in here. Can you find a light switch anywhere? I'll try. Um, found it. Turn it on! Whew. Thanks. Man, it does stink in here. And it's not just mold, is it? Probably not. Oh, that's odd. What is? Oh, nothing. It's like deja vu. I could, sw I could swear I've seen this in my room before. What? Inside the desk is a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook and a few crumpled pieces of paper. Heavenly Host Elementary School Confinement Tour. Now taking app. What? The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seemingly endless list of names. The lettering is worn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. Where's that funk coming from? It's an old Japanese-style Fusuma sliding door, presumably opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measure throughout its surface. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling this is one door we shouldn't open. Okay, okay. What about this? It's an old beat-up kettle. There are old moldy tea leaves floating in the stagnant water. Every day through November 18th, 1975 is crossed off with the big X. Whoa! Put the tape in. We're out of here. There's a video 8 camcorder lying on top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out, however, as the LCD display is not turning on. What is something like... What is something this recent doing in a place this old? Are we in his room? This look like, uh, this look like Chainsaw or, uh, uh, this look like, what game was that? Power Drill Massacre House. I'm cool. Maybe it belonged to someone who was brought here, like us. Yeah, that does make sense. Unfortunately, there's no cord here to hook it up to the TV. And it's out of batteries, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. What is that? There's a magazine article here from a publication called Strange But True, Stories of the Occult. I don't want to read this. Chasing down the hidden past of this cursed school building. Let's talk a bit more about Yoshi, the principal. Beloved son. Oh, wait, his son. Okay. Takamine is the principal. Yoshi, Yoshi is the son. Okay. The man was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panic. Panache, whatever. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his winning personality gave way to pure instinct. 
he was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of this illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had, been, had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long-forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degra degraded quickly. Fuck, sorry, y'all. More often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, Yoshikazu reached the point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. Although he could still understand others, he became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. Wow. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshi was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and desecration of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in these crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinazaki, age seven. I bet it's the kid who got his tongue cut out, which is why he couldn't say nothing. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions this incident spurned, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Never mind, it's a little girl. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as the girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. It's hard not to feel sympathy for someone so young forced to watch other children her age being tortured and killed, one by one. And certainly, if I were to find Miss Shinazaki and secure an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a full-grown and hopefully well-adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. <sighs> I'm impressed, Shinazaki. Yo, you far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind! My brain is still struggling to make sense of all this. Okay, but look, the ghost is gone. I guess we really managed to appease it. Are, are you alright? You should probably dry your tears and blow your nose at least, damn. <laughs> Oh, she went, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, what the hell? Not on my shirt. Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? What are you, two? Ugh, that's really gross, man. Not good. She's not normally like this. Shinazaki. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I feel a demon possession uh, uh, striking. That little kid might be trying to take over her little body. What is that sound when I save there? Are y'all gonna let me? I can't go this way. Oh, okay. I know just what you mean. God damn it, why does she have to die like that? Okay. <laughs> we still got that doll on us? mummy. <laughs> go to where the floor collapsed, but then got better. What? One step rooster, ten paces right. I don't have time to, to sit there and do that little that little mathematic equation with my steps. I'm cold. Oh my gosh. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised. Peering through the crack, you can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. Beneath the floorboards, you manage to fish out a crank-like key that resembles the winder from an old-fashioned pocket watch. Heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit any door I know. The winder. Maybe that goes in the pump. Or the crank, I mean, that was in this back room. But was it Yoshi that I saw that? Or was that... Oh, yeah, you know what? It was a Yumi anyway. Let's try it. Yes. It did indeed slip into the device without any trouble. 
but nothing happened. Oh, come on. There's space for it to go down one more notch. Try forcing it. Yes. Ah! Oh, oh, we gone, we gone, we gone, we gone, we, let's go, we gone, we gone, we gone, we gone, watch out, we gone. That was back down here. You already know. You already know, you already know. Whoa, get a load of this place. It's got showers and everything. Who the f is that? It hurts. Make it stop. Oh my god, my head. Whoa, blood. Shinazaki! Are you alright? Did you feel something again? Another nosebleed? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. If it's just her nose, it's fine, but if blood, if blood vessels burst in her brain or something. Here, Shinazaki, stuff some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. Thanks. I have some of my own, but since you got yours out already. Yeah, go ahead. Did the ghost get to her? No, she's been off a little since before that. I think she's probably reached her limit. She needs to rest. Um, no, I'm out. Is he cool? What is this? Nothing? Alright, to the room we go, to the room we go. Poolside. Homegirl who was thirsty would have had a field day out here. No running by the pool. A pool, huh? Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. <laughs> all right, here goes Shinazaki. This clearly isn't working. Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch a death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can handle the search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And what's gonna happen if a ghost shows up again, hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Don't worry about me. If anything happens, I'll call you. And you can come to my rescue. Mm. Alright. Just don't do anything stupid. Thank you. This is stupid. You say something? I've got to try to lighten her load as much as possible. I don't think she can handle much more of this. What is this? Essentially an oversized faucet or pump, obviously used for filling the pool. Its entire surface is covered in moss that seems to have absorbed some of the water, puffing it up with a thick blackish green coat of extra shiny slime. The details in the writing is excellent. What's up with this murky ass, dirty ass water? There's no telling what could be down there. All I know is I wouldn't be caught dead in this pool. Of course, I can't really swim, so... Alright. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. Bro. Ooh. It looks like there's a key lodged in the crank, in the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out. Pump room, huh? I've had enough. What was that? No, there's no way. Come on, give me a break here. What? Whoa, what is the timer for? Man, let me get let me get busy. Watch out. Yes, you wasting time asking me. I don't care if it broke. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait. Why is the time still going when I'm paused? Okay, okay. A crew label written on the piece of tape attached to the device says water pump. Right below there's a slot for some sort of lever or handle. They want me to find it in the water? What? 
I gotta get. Oh my gosh! Let's get the shit at Saki then! Uh, this beat go kind of hard, but it's it's intense because I I, got, I only got a minute left. Shinazaki, Shinazaki, damn it, she's not here. What the hell is she thinking? What is this? Oh my, Shinazaki is in the pool. Oh my, how? That's what I'm saying about iOS. It's shit bullshit. What? No. I'm smooth about to look at my walkthrough. I'm not finna die, bro. Only got 15 seconds to look at my walkthrough. Already, damn it. <laughs> they wanted me to remember where that where the waves came from. I should have definitely lost that. I would have had I not had to had the walk through. Wow. You back with me now? So tell me, why the hell did you jump into the pool? <gasps> you called me out there, didn't you? I, I what? I heard your voice. So I ran outside, and after that, I don't remember much else. The next thing I knew, my vision was all this sickening green color, and my mouth was full of water. God damn it. Was this the work of those ghosts again? I can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's got to be something in that pool. Ugh, there's some tuck in my tooth. Oh god, it's like algae or something. <laughs> Wonder if the showers still work. You ain't slick. Wow. Nothing. I can't get rid of this horrible taste, and I smell absolutely putrid. I hate this. <laughs> Wine sob. How does she think I feel? Shinazaki, how about we go off into the rain and wash ourselves off for a little? Though I don't know how much help rainwater will be before getting that taste out of your mouth. <laughs> okay. All right then, let's go. After this, I guess we need to figure out how to dry our clothes. Feeling better? Yeah. Surprisingly, I was able to rinse my mouth out pretty thoroughly. Were you? That's good. So Shinazaki, while I was out here, I came across a room in the back that I kind of like to check out. I'll go with you. That's probably for the best. Alright, let's do it. What the fuck was that? Okay, now we can actually check out the pump room without any, uh... I deserve that L, though, I'll be honest. Yes, unlock it. And then the key broke, nice. Alright, so here we go. I didn't know what I was doing a minute ago. Ooh, the look, okay. 
The valve wheel is labeled drainage. Turn it, sure. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh my gosh. It's the corpse of a very tiny individual. Being pickled in this filthy brine for so long seems to have bloated its skin into a patchwork of pustules. Huh? It's the body of a female student rotting and decayed. Oh. What's in here? The dim lights around you are reflecting off of something deep inside the Danish grate. Try to fish it out? Y yeah, I guess. What is this thing? Some kind of handle? Rusted valve wheel. Where I'm, I'm, gonna go I'm gonna go back in the pump room. Based on size, this appears to be the body of a high schooler. Okay, all right, I'm I'm out of here, dude. I think the only place that could be used for this is in here. Maybe the other room. This looks like something that water pump right below this. Is okay, nice, nice. That's as far as it's gonna go, I think. It's too rested to turn anymore. And that started some kind of water for out here, or? Oh, the showers, the showers. Oh, what is this? I removed the wheel from the water pump and threw it into the pool. Hopefully that'll keep anyone from finding the little treasure I left in the spigot. That bitch killed my friend. She can spend eternity without a tongue for all I care. What? Ew, it's another tongue. Tokiko Suji. The bag appears to contain a severed... So we have to give all the kids back their tongues. Okay. Where was she at? I don't remember... I don't even remember seeing her. Bro, where could she be? I'm finna save though, f*** that. Okay, okay, come here, come here. Hey, I got something for you, shawty. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> here we go again. The same thing I'm thinking, Yoshi. Where the hell is it gonna take us this time? Quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm a, I'm a baby dolly. Quiet, quiet. Where your friend was splat. Oh my gosh. Disrespectful ass bitch doll, bitch. I know where it was. You don't have to show me. The floorboards beneath the wall. Okay. That was. Where'd the sound go? Right under her globby. Is she being disrespectful now? Right under her globby entrails? I'm gonna stomp this doll out right there, where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip drop, drip drop. Fuck, I would have loved to hear the voice acting for this part. Smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Get in there good and dig it out. What? Whoa! <laughs> no! What the fuck? No! You getting a good laugh out of this, you sick son of a bitch? God, if that's where it is. I'm not sure we can ever bring ourselves to get it. What are y'all talking about? Is someone there? Oh shit, it's him. Morishiki, you're alive? Ah, Kishinuma, and our class rep. I'm very glad to see you both safe and sound. I still don't trust you, Morishiki. Hmm, <laughs> what happened? It's a long story. Yo, so where have you been? I was in the second wing until a short while ago, but suddenly lost consciousness. 
Oh, so he might be a good guy actually. He just he was he was mentally gone. Then when I woke up here, it felt as if the air had somehow changed. Oh yes. And I did briefly cross paths with Mochita and his sister. You did? So they're okay too. They are. Though when I ran next when when I next ran into Mochita's sister, it seemed she and her brother had parted ways. So you do remember that. Oh. Uh, Morishigi. What is that in your hand? Ugh. Morishigi appears to be grasping a blood-soaked pouch in his hand. Hmm? Oh, this. I uh, found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. That's where you... Oh, whoa. Whoa, wait, 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 hey, 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 what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Is this some kind of charm? Do you want it? Please take it. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present time. As with the others, there's a student ID name tag attached to the front. One of these kids doesn't even have a head. Who am I giving it to? Yuki Kana, okay. Well, I should be going now. Is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Ah, yes, one more thing. Mochita said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Uh, okay. What the f? How does he know that? I, I, I'm guessing. It wasn't from. You know, Suzumoto spot. Maybe it shifted over a few feet. And he got it from there. I mean, if he didn't, then... That really freaked me out. Did you see his hands? They were covered in blood. Bro! Nigga. What are you talking about? Bro! Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh, I got two tongues. Okay, okay, okay. Which one do we give it to? Give what to? Get back! Get back! Ew! This girl's missing an eye, and the other one's missing most of her head. Oh, we've got her tongues. Is that going to be enough? What do we do? Pull out the tongue bags? You have to. The girls lower their heads, or what's left of it in one case, and begin rocking slowly back and forth as if feeling anxious. What is the girl on the right going to say with, with that tongue still? Yuko, Yuki Kano Tokiko Suji. These are for you. They're yours, aren't they? Handed over the two bags. And you... Thank you very much. Okay, I didn't even have to choose. Excellent. <sighs> we did it. We did it, Shinazaki. All three of them. All that's left is the girl in the red... No! No more! Every time I talk to these ghosts, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to death myself. Do you have any idea what that's like? I keep picturing how it look when I'm dead, and I'm not even trying. It just pops into my head all on its own, and it's such a horrible image. I want to go home. I just want to go home! Back to my mom, and my sister, and Mochita. Damn, she liked Mochita too? Mochita's that guy. Shinazaki. All right, next one's mine then, okay? So just try to pull yourself to... What? God damn it, not again! This one's big too! Oh no! 
Oh no! I'm gone! I'm gone! Was I knocked out? Where am I? Is this our classroom? No fooling? Is that her? Hello? Shinazaki! Hey, wake up! She's breathing at least. Shinazaki, come on, wake up already! Kishi Noma? She sleeps standing up. <laughs> huh? What? Take a look around you. I can hardly believe it myself, but he here we are! No way. We're back? For real? Is, is this really our school? I thought she was finna give me a hug. It's really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's true. Yeah, we made it. We're home. We're home. F yeah. Suck on that, bro. <laughs> okay. The needle on the clock in the hall is pointing to eight, and there's not a soul in sight. What does it have to do with me leaving? What? Um, I never thought I'd live to see home again. Huh? Guess there's no Satoshi or Miss Yui or anyone else, huh? Miss Yui even has some cans of cat food in here. I'm not sure that's some sort of thing she should be storing in the classroom, though. Um, we can't leave? Okay, venturing out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out, and the halls are pitch black. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respite from the quaint, quiet darkness of the school hallway. Standing around in the darkened corridors of the school building at 8, eight o'clock in the evening just feels so surreal. As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows begin to condensate with moisture, turning white in contrast to the corridor sea of black. Is this reality? Is everything up until now just a dream? Where am I right now? And what am I doing? <coughs> oh, Shinazaki, what's wrong? What the fuck is that? Heartless Kingdom Hearts 3, the newest one? What? What the hell is this? It's not over, is it? Why isn't it over? Why? Damn it. Ha ha ha. It's you. No! Go back. Don't come any closer. <laughs> it was raining evening after school, just like this one. Oh, I think this is the girl! On the day I was kidnapped, I remember. Okay, I gotta do better. I remember I had to fight with my mom that morning. Why, why is she telling us this? I, I have no idea. I didn't want to see her face. So after school, I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. That's when Mr. Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with my mom and he listened really closely and just kept saying, uh-huh, uh-huh. Pervert. He was sick and couldn't speak much, you see. But he was a very kind man. This is the, yep, this is the story. This is that girl. I really liked him. But then, 
<laughs> you two are nice people. I'm so sorry. She's so tiny. She must be fifth grader. Yuki Kano, right? Uh, thank you for what you did back there, for making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. Didn't we succeed, though? So, so why are you still here? No, you didn't. But we returned your tongues. We gave you, we gave you back your ability to speak out. And we even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which heavenly host is sealed. What fit greater knows vocabulary like this, really? I believe that moving us is your best course of action. But it's not enough. His repentance just wasn't enough. So you're saying his words, the words spoken by the doll, weren't good enough to appease you? That's not... Huh? So what then? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in that godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summon us there, aren't you? That's not true. The hell do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the close spaces together. But you... You killed Suzumoto, didn't you? Wait! Huh? Let's hear her out. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned with us? I heard about a situation like this from my sister once. A lost soul whose life was ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short at the edge of a madness, with all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head. Your kindly nature and sudden hatred and panic began to spin around and around, and you just start acting out without any sort of control. Your sister's some kind of medium or something? Yes, something like that. So what you're saying is, this little girl and, this, and the creepy girl we met before are two sides of the same coin? I feel for you. I really do. So please, please bring the rest of them back. Mochita, Miss Yui, and everyone else too. Bring them all back home. Come on, you can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds of souls like us who are bound there. It won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. So... We're going to lose you as an ally, then. So why don't you just hurry up and bring him, ho bring him home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Wachita and the others? There may be one way. W what is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the closed spaces. Fuck. Find all four of us heavenly host serial kidnapping and murder victims. And put us all to rest. Then, the closed spaces won't have their cogs anymore, so they'll begin to fall apart. And you just might get your friends back. You expect us to go back? And this time, instead of just having one person left to appease, we have to go back to the drawing board and appease all four of you? Why, could you tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What is there to hide? It's just... Something I don't want to remember, but... If you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened.
Yuki's spirit gently took hold of Ayumi's hand, and in an instant, their two beings seemed to merge together into a single mind. On some um, Avatar shit. Avatar, not the, not the airbender, the tail booty fuckers. Actually, that's some Detroit shit, when they shake hands and, like, share memories. Uh, w what's going... Ah! Sh Shinazaki! It hurts! It hurts! Ah! I can't scream like that. Uh. Huh? What happened to me? Didn't I pass out? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing. And I can't move. It's like that feeling you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. Uh, where? Whoa. Whoa. Why can't I move? What am I looking at? Sachiko Shinazaki, the little girl in the red dress and the only survivor of the hor horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Middle School. Elementary school, sorry. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area, moving to another prefecture to escape the frightful memories that remain there. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of the Shinazaki family. No matter where I look, oh, okay, we're back, okay. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, when an elementary school becomes the stage for a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than the principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as the primary focus for public interest with all other details fading into the background. So of course, after learning that Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media circus surrounding the school. But there's more to it than that. People weren't just uninterested in learning of Sachiko's history or whereabouts, there was simply no data to be had. I can't move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here, aside from myself. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly Host during that incident. But they're still alive. Unfortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. Oh, I don't like this shit. Get that fucker with the f dirty ass face in the. <laughs> no, stop! No, please! No! Yoshikazu. I. I. I can't see. Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happening to me. Since my hands and feet are, I can't, I can't read it like that no more, y'all. It's been like three fucking hours. I'm tired of reading it like that. I can't remove the blindfold either. That just makes everything so much worse. I guess because I can't see, I begin to listen more intently. The helpless cries of the other children echo off the walls of the cramped room. I'm so scared, it feels like my head's going to explode. What are you doing to me? Why am I blindfolded? Actually, hold up. I kept begging and pleading, but all I heard in response was the man walking away from me. You... You... Well... Fuck, that's nasty. In order. <laughs> Wowzers. I've never heard screaming like this before. It's pure, primal terror cutting through the air like a perfect sin wave. 
It's the boy at the end. It feels like he's been screaming for an eternity, I think. He's being killed right now. F With what? My god, what the hell is he doing to him? No one deserves this. Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? It's been at least an hour and a half now. Those inhuman screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside have finally come to a halt. Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is the next to scream for her life. And the symphony goes on. Finally, after hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noises stopped and the room grew quiet again. Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair standing on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen, like I've suddenly been stricken with a severe diarrhea. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up and taking off my blindfold, which means I get to see the face of my killer. The four missing children were found in a basement room at Heavenly Host Elementary School, unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhumanly horrific sight. Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part, however, as the, as the deceased victim's wounds did not indicate that his full strength had been used. Nonetheless, he had clearly acted with extreme malicious intent. My stomach hurts. I don't know if it's the drinker and what, bro. The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as loss of blood following removal of tongue. But the actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical, nor even so pleasant, if you can believe it. The following details have been extrapolated from information previously unreleased to the public, or at least previously unreported by news outlets. These details of the crime were based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinazaki herself. Evidently, the victims were bound, blindfolded, and spaced out on the floor, then killed one by one. One was repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with the aforementioned pair of scissors, then had many of his internal organs forcefully dug out. His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the earthen floor of the basement room. Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times with scissors to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was essentially minced away. With my blindfold removed, the sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could possibly have imagined. The person staring back at me, brandishing a blood-soaked pair of scissors, wasn't the large man from earlier at all. It was one of the children. It was a little girl. Her face dried red with the blood of her victims. She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes, and then, she just started giggling. What the f What?
I'm I'm confused. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocking, even to me, and makes it nearly impossible to accept the murderer as anything but a monster. And bearing witness to every moment of this was a seven-year-old girl named Sashiko. In many ways, she's the most pit pitiable and long-suffering of them all. But it was through her tearful, frightened testimony that Yoshikazu Yanagori was officially charged. Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate possible explanations, and I remind you, this is mere conjecture. But one question keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was Yoshi, was Yoshi really the murderer of the three victims? Is it possible that this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all? Think about it, in his final days, Yoshi was incapable of communicating with others through speech, and despite his childlike re reversion, he'd always been a personable and friendly man, as the saying goes, he wouldn't have heard a fly. All his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much. Shocking to hear that such a kindly man could commit these unconscionable atrocities. He certainly had no motive for the crime either. There was nothing from him for him to gain from it. Then again, he may simply have lost his mind. Look at his father. It was around the same time that Principal Takamine suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in the most peculiar way, not to mention scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over his walls of his possessed. He seemed frightened of someone and would often be found crouching in the corner of his office, moaning and thrashing when visitors came by. I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything man could devise. From the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly House Elementary School's sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed ground. To find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back a whole 20 years, I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched as leads go, but it's a lead nonetheless. Regrettably, since Heavenly House was not only closed down but demolished altogether, and another school built in its place, it's no longer possible to investigate the basement room directly. But my protege has found what may be the next best thing. Something that can make the impossible possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure not to miss the next installment, and maybe the scoop of a lifetime. This this actually may piss y'all off the fact that I reacted like this because I was I was kind I'm still kind of confused, but if I if I'm understanding correctly I'm, I have a few problems with the way this just ended. So chapter four ends with Ayumi going into Kuyi Ku, Kuya whatever her name is a little spirit girl who came into the real classroom to bring us back into the into the demon world right bring us back into heavenly host. That little girl grabbed that Yumi's hand and brought her into her version of what she experienced when she died, right? Underground. There was four kids down there, including her. So she was next to a boy and two little girls. With, with what I'm assuming is Yoshi, the principal's son, in the basement, right? He goes and kills the little boy first, kills another little girl, and then when it's my turn, I take off my blindfold and I see that the second little girl is actually the one doing the killing. Why do I feel like that's kind of cheesy? I, not cheesy? Okay, okay. That almost takes, I don't know, that's not good to me. That's not good to me. Cause who the f hit Yoshi, the student, when he got split up and hit him in the back of the head and then he came back and was like yo somebody hit me in the back of the head no seven year old girl is that strong 
Is that supposed to be his daughter? That's supposed to be Yoshi, the principal's son's daughter? So, so, so Shiki, whatever the f your name is? And now, like, um, my job is to find out if it was a little girl or the, or the, or the grown man? Because now all I'm thinking is, well, maybe he just put her to it. Like, maybe he's like, yo, you gotta do this. Well, she smiled, though, so it's a little weird. But then that just means, like, what, it's a demon possession? Relax in the comments, too, bro. I've been playing this shit for, like, two, three hours right now. I'm just trying to figure this story out before we get into chapter five. I'm going to be reading the comments. Please, no spoilers, y'all. No spoilers. I'm going to be reading the comments. I don't know how I feel about that one. That seemed kind of whack. I wasn't expecting it, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah. And like, why is she, why is she killing? Well, y'all let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this playthrough and want to see the finale episode, please hit a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. Look, I don't know if the next chapter will come out tomorrow. It'll probably take another day because this shit is so long. I know PG is going to have a rough time trying to edit this footage. Every time that my phone locked on its own, it started a brand new clip. So he's going to have to sync that up and then do his thing to it. Give us just one more day at most and we'll give that video out for y'all and then the series is done we'll go back to our regularly scheduled stuff sims yakuza god of war and spider-man not not y'all but like a lot of y'all i don't know if y'all trolling or what but like god of war and spider-man will not have videos i'm just not interested i'll, I'll live stream them finish them probably on twitch but i'm not gonna be making videos on those so yakuza sims dangin two after that ape escape i'm bringing ape escape back for sure i just missed the game I love each and every one of y'all, man, seriously. And I'll see you on the next video. Help me out. Help me, help me figure this out. Peace.